Hello reformers and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor and well we're actually in a pretty interesting situation here. I did not really intend to do this but I saw this on the map and I was like okay <laughs> let's go and do it and have a little bit of fun because it's been a long time. Well, I shot him in the heart and he was just like ah, I don't care I'm the Terminator apparently. Anyway point is thought it might be pretty fun just to uh, have our companions strut their stuff, so to speak, because it's been a long time since we've actually seen them do, well, anything amazing. And I'm talking about, you know, generally being proficient at combat. And, you know, they're, they're actually not even bad. You know, they're, they're, my, my companions are actually pretty good, but, uh, well, they don't usually get an opportunity because they are usually either outnumbered by a huge amount of enemies or just in general kind of dying pretty easily so yeah it's 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 kind of fun to actually see them do their thing uh in this kind of situation unfortunately i was able to really i can't believe i missed that guy really that's just it's kind of sad but whatever the case we do have a number of very good companions here and we will be able to do this now this is the treasure map location if you're wondering it's not just a regular bandit hideout or anything it's the treasure map location and i thought Hey, you know what? I'm going to do this just because I kind of want a Qualys gem. And I know, I know, we've already picked up the Qualys gem from the Red Brotherhood hideout. But I was kind of hoping against all odds that it was here. <laughs> that it was still in here. There's actually Noldo Arrows? That's, that must be ours. Anyway, I'm going to open this up. As you can see, we're, we're, we're doing okay for, for doing this, to be honest. Because we do get various loot. And this various loot is going to obviously sell for a huge amount of money. So obviously that's a pretty fantastic thing to do. By the way, all of the diamonds in my inventory, I went into the Guildmaster. And he was like, oh, frisky are we? No, no, no. Let's let's get our minds out of the gutter, shall we? But anyway, the point is, is that I went to speak to the Guildmaster. And I said to him, hey, here's all my diamonds. Take all my diamonds. And he gave me 28,000 for three small pouches of diamonds. So if you find diamonds, go to those guild masters and they will have a pretty fun time for you. They'll have a lot of money. And uh, yeah, I still obviously have these uh, th these Noldor trade goods and I believe those are obviously to be used in conjunction with Qualys gems and things like that to increase the amount of units you're able to recruit from the uh, Noldor castle. And speaking of the Noldor castle, what we are going to be doing after this is we are going to be I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't already won this but anyway the point is is what we're going to be doing after this is I'm going to be heading on over to the Noldor castle and attempting to participate in one of their tournaments because obviously that's the thing that we should really be doing basically almost all the time every single month there is a Noldor tournament we should be doing it because if we don't do it we're going to miss out on a very good opportunity indeed. And that opportunity, of course, is for a Qualys gem. And that is the main thing that I am wanting to do right now. Because apart from the fact that we do have our own... Well, technically we are the guild, guild master. We are the grand master of our own knighthood order. It is not the same. It is not the same as actually having your own knighthood order. So I am very much hoping that... I actually thought I was being killed there for a second. Oh, I am actually being killed. Are you serious? You know what? I'm actually just going to retreat in a second. Uh, if I can. Because I don't really want to fight these guys anymore. And I've already looted them. So I think I'm pretty happy with the result here. But yes, as I say, we need a Qualys gem to be able to establish our own knighthood order. And that is going to be amazing. Because being able to utilize our own units, the, uh, I, I think the, the, the teacup, you know, the teacup adventurers are going to be coming back. I think that, I think that's what they're called. It was a long time ago that I came up with that name. So I, I, I apologize if I get it a little bit wrong, but I think it's, isn't it the teacup and, uh, teacup and biscuitiers or something like that? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up before we name the knighthood order, but, uh, yeah, that's, it's going to be definitely something that's going to be coming back. Cause we, I think we had then we have teacups as as units, and we had something else, so it would be pretty cool to have that happen, if at all possible, because they are going to be the units that we will be using for the rest of the game, basically, and uh, that's going to be really fun. Anyway, I will stop rambling, and I'll see you at the Nordor Castle.
Alright, so I've done my best to actually find a unique spawn that we can take on. Now, Warlord Zolkar has been in a fight with a Mist Mountain army, and he has taken significant casualties. However, the main problem with that was that he was at 1% HP, so I've had to wait about four in-game days, or at least it seems like four in-game days. Maybe it's just you know, the passage of time warping in my mind. But anyway, the point is, is that it's been a while and he's finally up at a threshold of percentage health that is hopefully going to enable me to capture him. Now, of course, this is very much percentage chance down to luck, you know, it's kind of kind of like that. Kind of like, you know, the Noldor tournament. And uh, I did say that we were going to be at the Noldor castle, but unfortunately... It's not the right time. I actually missed a Noldor tournament by about two days. So it is now actually February 23rd or 24th. And it was February 6th, I believe. So I missed I missed the <laughs> missed the tournament by like two days. So that was great. Anyway, uh, I'm actually here. I'm actually here in the Mist Mountain lands because I thought, okay, let's go and try and search for some Jatu unique spawns or something along those lines, because they are usually the ones that are, you know, that are, that are the most prevalent in the game. And they are generally the ones that might be easier? Eh, nah, not really, you know. They're, they're not really easier than the Heretics, for example, but I feel like the Heretics are probably the hardest unique spawns that you're going to fight, because they have Doom Guides, and they have all those crazy, crazy, wonderful units that are really really powerful and, and and fun to fight against not <laughs> no they are certainly not fun to fight against anyway what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to try and take my forces backwards over here to the boundary of the map because if these fellows are wanting to do their annoying horse archer stuff then i'm hopeful that i will be able to prevent that from happening because they are going to run into the wall Hopefully that's the case, at least. If they don't decide to do that, then that's absolutely fine, and I will just, you know, deal with them in a different way. But bear in mind that these guys are unique. They have a bunch of actual Zolkar honor guards, or, or whatever they're called, because I know that Wolfboat has a bunch of honor guards. But uh, yeah, he's actually around as well, by the way. Wolfboat has about 417, and uh, amusingly enough, I think Zolkar, when he spawned, actually had that as well, but I saw him fighting this Mist Mountain army, and I thought, okay, let's wait around. Let's wait around and see what happens, because that's going to be, uh, that's probably going to be the best thing for us to do. Anyway, I'm actually going to tell my people to charge in right now, because uh, we do have quite a lot of enemies over there, just chilling out, not really doing too much. Yes, yeah, so there they are. Zolkar's Grim Riders. They are the thing that we uh, need to be a bit careful of. Oh yeah, you might also notice something as well. I don't have a shield. You, you know why I don't have a shield? Yeah, I actually gave my shield to the NPC. The new, the new. Th there's, there's actually three new NPCs in our Order Stronghold. And I gave my shield to Alexios, I believe is his name. And uh, he's a blacksmith. So he's actually going to be improving my shield over 20 days. I think I can actually go back there in about two days and it will be ready for me to pick up. And he's going to hopefully be improving that to a significant upgrade. So I, I don't think he can... I don't think he can increase it to lordly, but I think he can increase it to somewhere near that. So maybe reinforced or thick shield or something like that. That would be pretty awesome in my opinion. So if we can make that happen, I think we'll be really, really pleased with it. Unfortunately... As is the case, I am now without a shield. Oh, there we go. Warlord Zolkar has been knocked unconscious. Fantastic. So he has been on the battlefield, and we do have a potential opportunity to get a Qualys gem from him. I am hopeful that that will happen. Anyway, uh, it seems like most of my... Oh, dear. Yes, it seems like my units have also succumbed to the wall. <laughs> the wall problem. Yes, that is not very good at all. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to deal with this, but uh, maybe I should just retreat and go back in? Hmm, that might make sense. I, I mean, I don't really want to do that, because it's going to be a pretty heavy penalty for me, but uh, thankfully it's not a World of Ice and Fire penalty, that's for sure. 
because that's really harsh. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to retreat here. We did a pretty decent job as it is. As you can see, eliminated a whole bunch. Now, the main problem with retreating here is that I, I am going to need to wait again. And I'm going to need to wait for his forces to recuperate themselves. So as you can see, we've been doing a, pr a pretty spot-up job here of uh, trying to get trying to get these uh, these guys to follow me. They are obviously going to run away from me right now because I am more powerful than they are at the moment. Wow, he lost a huge amount of his grim riders. I was going to say raiders for a second there, but no, they are riders. Ah, oh, there's the Mist Mountain Army. I have nothing to eat. That's great, great as well. Oh yeah, also... There's another NPC at the Order Stronghold that gives you the ability to buy honey and butter and grapes and all these insanely cool foodstuffs that are perfect for sieges and perfect for long drawn out campaigns. And uh, basically what I've been doing is I've just been running around trying to get uh, as many... Oh, what's this, what's this guy? Ah, he's a book, a book merchant. Ah, okay. Anyway... Yes, trying to get as many travelers spoken to as possible, because those guys will give me the opportunity to... Oh, no, don't kill Warlord Zolkar. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, never mind. They're not, they're not killing Warlord Zolkar, that's for sure. Ooh, hello there. Hello. That Mist Mountain army is going to be defeated by that in incredibly small Ravenstern vassal, and he is going to get 900 rescued prisoners. Is that true? Is that true? Is he actually going to do it? He is! Look! Lord Burgundus now has 900 units! I am really impressed, actually. <laughs> Good work, Lord Burgundus, even though he's not really working with us. Yeah, he's part of the Ravenstone, of course, but... That is... An, I always feel like that's really impressive when a vassal, an AI vassal, is actually able to do that. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to wait around. Hopefully Warlord Zolkar will be up on his feet relatively soon, and then we'll be able to tackle him once again. Alright, so once again we are heading in against Warlord Zolkar, and he has about 160 or so, and we have about 190. So we should be absolutely fine with this. I'm not entirely sure what I should do here, because obviously he still has Jatu Battle Riders, and he still has Jatu Raiders, and all those wonderful units that are so incredibly good at using their lances and their, their, you know, their archery proficiency, respectively. So, in general, we are probably going to be doing a similar thing here, where we just kind of stay at the back of the back of the bus, you know, back of the bus, back of the map, and we're just going to chill out a little bit, and we're going to see if we can uh, maybe just do a little bit of damage with our bow here. I'm obviously not going to be very, very lucky in that regard. Let's face it. Yeah, it's me. I'm not very good with my bow, at least from this range. Anyway, hopefully most of my ranges of the Clarion Call and the other wonderful ranged units that I have will be able to do a significantly better job than I. So let's see if we can now charge in and see what we can do, because otherwise we're going to just get pincushioned to death as we just stand there. Well... <laughs> That was amusing. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Well, whatever the case, uh, I actually I actually have a pretty... Uh, I don't know. That's the thing. I did not want to die here because I... Do, do, do I, need, I need to have the prisoner management, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the one with the prisoner management. So I'm not entirely sure if this is going to... I don't think it will because I think if... Well, shall we say, if our medic survives, so in other words, if Anson lives and he hasn't already been killed, then I think I have a pretty decent chance of taking Warlord Zolkar prisoner. But if not, then I am going to need to, uh, well, try again with someone else, I suppose, but we'll see. Uh, I really was hoping that I would not get myself killed so incredibly uselessly. Let's face it, that was an absolutely useless death right there. Really wanted to try and survive, but oh well. Whatever the case, we are currently doing fantastically, as you can see. We're actually not even losing many units, if any at all, so I'm kind of surprised about that. And uh, it makes my death even that much more pathetic, because there's only seven people. 
There's only seven people that have gotten some, gotten themselves eliminated, and I was one of them. Ah, oh, Beartilt, I am terribly sorry. He's like, yeah, I'm used to it. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is He is used to it. Let's face it. You know, let's face facts. Let's face reality here. He is absolutely used to my incompetence. Oh, well. Never mind. Hopefully you and he can forgive me as we watch the inevitable defeat of Warlord Zorkar's forces. And uh, I think I think we're pretty good actually. I mean, look at look. Can I, I I I love zooming out in these kinds of situations because you never usually get a bird's eye view of warbands battlefields. And in other games like Total War and various other you know real time strategy games, grand strategy, and so on and so forth, you're going to get a pretty massive overview of the battlefield. But in warband, you never usually get that. So being able to see our forces. And the way that they move on the field is actually really quite fascinating because even though their AI is relatively basic, I suppose, in comparison to a game like Total War or, you know, any other grand strategy sort of game, then, you know, it's kind of interesting to see what they decide to do, where they decide to go, and who they decide to attack. And, well, as you can see by the battle map, we have absolutely swarmed the enemy and they are now dead so let's cross your fingers and hope that we're going to be able to get warlord zolkar here if we can get warlord zolkar we will be able to get another qualus gem and that will enable me to hopefully and i'm, I'm going to say cross my fingers right here hopefully create my own knighthood order which i would love to be able to do in seven cross keep so let's see whether we can have that happen oh we did it! Oh yes, high five, boom, yes, high five, boom, no one else is around, so high five to you, there you go. Uh, doing that to myself for so you know what? There you go. <laughs> high five. Alright, so anyway, let's, uh, let's take him prisoner. Let's take him prisoner. I'm really happy about that because it's been a long time since we've actually even been able to uh, get a Qualys gem. So, I am extremely pleased that we were able to pull it off. Fantastic. Let's let our forces... Well, they don't want anything, of course. Oh, we actually get Noldor Hunters. Give me those Noldor Hunters. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay. Guess I'll take a Jatu Lancer. Capture a couple of prisoners. These guys are obviously... It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Ravenstone Ranger. I only have a couple of spaces, so i got to be a bit... Hmm... Selective, ugh, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Salian units, I like the longbowmen, and I like their knights, but their, uh, their, their infantry is not the greatest, but anyway, pretty happy about that. Ah, yes, my companions are having a problem once again. Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna say Sir Rain here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna side with Sir Rain, because he's been with us a little bit longer, I believe. Anyway, we will be, oh, look at that, we can advance these adventurers to hero adventurers straight off. And, uh, yeah, I think I think we're pretty good. Okay, so I can now speak to him, and I can gain a Qualys Gem basically immediately, which is fantastic. So let's, let's do that. Well, that is an interesting idea. It is true that you have defeated me. I would seek my freedom as my followers can ransom me. I can offer you diamonds or a Qualys Gem. No, there we go. I will accept your Qualys Gem. There we go. Oh, yeah. That is fantastic. Okay, so that actually seems like a pretty easy fight and I don't want to try and sound like I'm overconfident here because I'm certainly not that but I'm really pleased that we were able to do that in such a simple fashion and uh, it didn't really it wasn't really that painful like yes you know you know the first encounter with him was pretty painful and waiting all those days was pretty painful as well because I I'm not a big fan of waiting I don't have a huge amount of patience when it comes to waiting for well, unique spawns to regenerate their health, because it does take a long time. So that's obviously a bit of an annoyance. But other than that, I'm happy. We got a Qualys Gem. So the uh, the, the Teacup Adventurers, uh, I still can't remember what their name was. But don't worry. Those guys, ah, I got it. Tea Time Troublemakers. There we go. That was the name of our Knighthood Order way back when. So we are going to be... 
having them be resurrected. And Alexios is done with my Nordor shield. As you can see, I have your Nordor sh enchanted shield right here. F fantastic, thank you very much. I can also improve my Nordor composite bow, but he said that was going to take 50 days. I think that's a little bit too long for me. And uh, we're going to be replacing my bow perhaps with a rune weapon. Not entirely sure about that, to be honest, but let's see what he did. Yeah, he, he improved it to a reinforced Noldor enchanted shield. Pretty crazy good shield right there. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Otherwise, what we can do is we can speak to the quartermaster here. And as you can see, he's going to give you honey, butter, olives, chicken, sausages, dry meat, beef, cheese, grapes, pork, smoked fish, bread, everything under the sun, basically, that you could want. We're going to be taking a huge amount of fruits. And we're going to take some... No, not some pork, thank you very much. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the whole pork thing, or meat in general. Just literally because it degrades so incredibly quickly. And I don't want to have to deal with that, to be honest. So that's the main reason. Anyway, I'm going to be taking as many decent pieces of food as I can. And by that I mean... Stuff that is not going to give me too much morale, but is enough that it will kind of keep my army going for the most part. So we'll go with that. And also the constable. You can send out an order patrol wherever you like. I'm going to send one to Seven Cross Keep. Actually, can I, can I send... How many can I send over there? All right, so we're actually going to be calling this Tea Time... I was going to say Tea Time Torturous. No, because <laughs> we can't do that. Ah... Uh. Mm. Uh, oh no, I'm sure someone's coming up with something really fantastic with tea time. I, I, I'm looking for a word with beginning with T here because then we can make it tea time something, but uh, mm. no, I, I can't say tea time stronghold, that, 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 that just doesn't work. Tea time keep? Ugh. Uh, how annoying. I'm awful at these things. Uh, absolutely. There we go. Castle tea time. That's what I'm going with. And uh, everyone is now like, oh, what? That's the worst name of all time. Well, you know, it's it fits, you know. It fits my theme. You know, it fits the theme, doesn't it? Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get prepared for the Noldor tournament, which is coming up very, very soon. And uh, that will give me another opportunity for another Qualis gem. And I am very rusty when it comes to knighthood order creation and knighthood order customization and all that stuff. So I'm hopeful that I will be able to, you know, uh, look that up real quick because the uh, thankfully the Prophecy of Pendor wiki is extremely well fleshed out and huge props to the moderators there. I think there's there's like one guy that's doing a fantastic job there. So yeah, keep that up because that's that's pretty crazy how much detail is in each article. It's just fantastic, really is. And uh, it, it has proven an absolutely invaluable resource to me and to many other people that have, you know, played Pendle. And uh, yeah, very, very good, good amount of props to, to that fellow. Anyway, I'm going to be waiting here for some time and I'll definitely see you at the Noldor tournament this time around. So we are now here at the Noldor Castle and we're going to try our best to achieve a victory. Now, of course, because I do have some pretty decent bow skill, I'm going to be attempting to use my bow as much as I possibly can. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like things are not going as anticipated, are they? Oh dear. Yeah, this, this might be a bit of an issue, but maybe I can at least eliminate someone. Whoa, that guy's, oh, that guy's absolutely murdering me, isn't he? Absolutely. Let's see if we can continue to interrupt him, and a nice kill would be nice right now. Yeah, there we go. Take that. Oh, hello. Hello. Whoa, you've not been damaged at all, have you, Noldor Noble? Who? What, what, what are my teammates doing? I don't know. But uh, I guess they're not getting lanced in the face against Warlord Zolkar, that's for sure. Let's not speak of it again, shall we? All right, this, this guy's going to kill me, I'm pretty sure. Oh! Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, fantastic. Good work, Grandmaster Beartilde. I've changed his name once again because I actually achieved, or I gained the achievement for, uh, you know, establishing the fact that we are now the Grandmaster. 
of the Order of the Clarion Corps, so that's pretty nice. Anyway, let's fight in the next round. Got another bow. Another bow. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Hello. I have a I have a club. I am willing to use it. Oh, bow it is. Uh, <laughs> that was hilarious. That was absolutely funny. Right. Okay, so yeah, I, I think we're pretty good here now. I don't think we can... Uh, I don't think we can actually lose now, even if I get myself killed. Anson, you're awful at combat. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ah, well, never mind. That did give me a pretty easy kill. And I think I can actually press tab now and actually leave. But because this is the Nordor tournament, I want to be extremely careful with what I'm doing. So even if that is the thing that I can do by, you know, just eliminating two people and then pressing tab to, to leave... I kind of don't want to just in case it uh, messes things up for me. So I'm going to just leave that for the moment. And we're going to just try our best to murder everyone else. There we go. I hit my friendly. Uh, oh, I hit another friendly. <laughs> you know, I feel like I should have just killed this guy because he see, he's, a, he's a Noldor Twilight Knight. So I probably should have just killed him. Yeah, but he would have gotten, gone through anyway because I actually did a good job, didn't he? Yeah, probably. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so whatever the case, I will prepare for murdering my enemy archer. There we go. Mol uh, Moldor? No. Moldor Naden Ranger, I was going to say. No, no. That is a Noldor Maiden Ranger. Certainly something we want to be a bit careful of. Oh, dear. I'm going to kill the horse and then just try and murder him while he's on the ground because it's honorable. Very honorable indeed. I'm actually kind of surprised that the AI is allowing me to even get hits in here. Whoa, that was a nice sidestep. Did you see that lovely sidestep? Maybe it was a bit too quick. Well, whatever the case, we're doing pretty well so far. There we go. Wow, I'm surprised. Bear Tilt's doing fantastically. He's got a very good amount of uh, <laughs> one-handed weapon proficiency by the looks of things. It's making it very easy for him to achieve victories here. Oh, I really wanted to do damage there. I'm, gonna go, I'm just trying to basically keep people at bay so that my uh, my archer friend over there can do his thing. And whoa, that was easy. Whoa, now I know how it feels to be a Kurgit horse archer. Wow, I'm really not very good at horse archery, so that's that's the reason why I reference the Kurgits because they are very good at what they do. Oh no, yes, this guy is going to prove to be a bit of an annoyance. So I'm actually just going to get out my club. See what I can do with that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, no, no. A little bit too far away, Bear Till. There we are. That's a little bit better. Thank you very much. And uh, we are we are doing well. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm surprised. But who are we up against? There we go. Nordor Maiden Ranger. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I have a shield. This is, this is a bit one-sided, is it not? She's firing extremely fast. I mean, that's what we can expect from someone with, what is it, 500 weapon proficiency or something. But she's not defending at all. And I murdered her like no one's business. So there you go. Okay, so what did we... <gasps> we got it. We got a Corliss gem. <laughs> okay. Wow. I got super lucky in this episode by the looks of things. Wow. That is actually a 20% chance. 20% chance to get a Qualys Gem from the Noldor tournament. I was highly, highly thinking that I would just get, I don't know, a piece of armor or a horse or something like that. But no. They did me a solid right there and gave me a Qualys Gem. That is amazing. And we're on that high note, I'm going to be ending this episode off here. I thank you very much for watching and for joining me. And I will see you next time.